Petco is returning to the public markets, pricing above the expected range. I think the stock's going to go much higher than where it's being priced. CEO Ron Coughlin joins us now, first on uh, CNBC, first everywhere. Okay, so, uh, Ron, I want to ask you, this company, when it went private, some people thought it was a puppy mill. Some people thought it was inefficient. Others felt that it couldn't survive versus online. Could you please tell me about what this company looks like now versus then? Hi, Jim. Great, great to be here. Uh, Petco is a radically transformed company. We're focused first on improving lives, improving lives of pets, pet parents, and the folks that work at Petco. And we are the only end-to-end -end ecosystem of pet, pet uh, services and products, whether you're looking to be groomed, trained, have veterinary services, or have the best foods in the world. Petco is the only one can, that can partner with a pet parent and provide all of those things. What the, uh, is a guy who did a remarkable job at HP uh, doing running a uh, pet retailer? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, HP, uh, it's my technology background, has really helped us. In the last 18 months, we've rolled out buy online, pick up in store, ship from store, curbside, same day delivery, a world class app. And the more technology we've laid down, the faster our digital business has grown. And at this point, let's take uh, same day delivery. Our same day delivery is now 30% of our e-commerce orders. And what's amazing is it's faster to the customer and lower cost than our digital only competitors. Well, let's talk about that. Chewy's been one of the most remarkable uh, stocks of the era. Uh, it's got a $46 billion valuation. Could you go head to head with the Chewy? So first, if you like, take a look at the market, there's about 39% of the market that are omni-channel customers. They want to shop digitally, but as well in brick and mortar. And we are the solution for those customers. There's another 20 plus customers that are digital only. And with the advantage I talked about, whether it's curbside, whether it is same day delivery, we have structural advantage that allow us to compete. We picked up a million customers in quarter three, and that is very competitive with what they did. When I uh, get a pet and I buy, uh, I don't buy, I get it from us uh, before they're euthanized. What I want is full service. I don't want just food. I want a vet. I want uh, a healthcare company. I think that this company looks like that opportunity. 50% of customers are just like you. They want a partner to help ensure the health and wellness of their pet, and they want all of it, and we're the only ones. We're actually doing the fastest vet uh, rollout in history. We went from 15 to 105 in the last 18 months, but here is the really special part that ties to our mission. 70% of pets don't get the care they need because of affordability. We're rolling out the first affordable vet care network in the world, and we're very proud of it, and it is going extremely, extremely well. And when we put a vet in a location, guess what happens? Our center store merchandise sales go up 4%. So it's a win for the pet and a win for the business. I, I had Kristen Peck on last night on Mad Money. She's the uh, excellent CEO of Zoetis. She was telling me the tailwind. Uh, th that's a healthcare company. Uh, the tailwind from the pandemic is extraordinary. People want pets more than ever. Are you seeing that? Seven, well, first of all, the projection is 7% growth, uh, CAGR, for years to come. There are 3.3 million new pets in 2020, and we think the same thing will happen in the first half of 21 because people are uh, at home, they're a little depressed, and they want a bundle of joy in their life. So we're going to help feed those pets, we're going to help train those pets, groom those pets, and vaccinate those pets. But, yeah, I think it's actually good for America and our souls, and it's good for uh, Petco. Ron, things have changed dramatically since Petco was public last, and including what we call ESG on Wall Street. You're familiar with it. Uh, what is Petco doing for uh, animals that would unfortunately be killed uh, if they don't find a home? Yeah, um, I will tell you this is one of the most both disturbing and satisfying parts of my job. There, are, there is still euthanasia in America, and there does not have to be. We are on an absolute mission to eliminate euthanasia. Every single year, we help fund shelters that avoid euthanasia for 400,000 pets. In addition to that, we help fund programs like LSU's oncology research, because cancer is the number one killer of pets. So our mission is improving lives of pets, pet parents, 
Uh, and uh, if you look at what we're doing, it's really, really meaningful. The other thing we did was we got rid of artificial ingredients. We're the only major retailer to do that. And then earlier this year, we got rid of shock collars because they cause pain and fear, and pets don't deserve pain and fear. They deserve love. Thank you for doing that. Uh, some people are saying, Jim, before you fall in love with this company, you know, they're not making any money. I, I look at EBITDA, but the fact is some people want to see right now what you are times earnings. What do we say? Yeah, we, we're on a growth trajectory. Um, we, were, we were growing. Uh, we, in 2018, the business was shaky. We got back to 2.6% growth in Q4, 4.4% growth in 19. We were 6% before COVID, and, we, and we've been double digit in COVID. Uh, and we're showing good conversion to profit, and there'll be more to come in the future. So watch the space. The way I think that you know, the way you can make the most money, actually, I think, is a private label. I just want, as you mentioned, I want a clean label. I actually like an American flag if I can get it because I don't want Chinese uh, dog food. But uh, how's the profitability on your own brands? First of all, we have a billion dollar own brand business, so it's very strong and it's a core capability of this company. And secondly, our profit is 10 points above vendor brands. But our vendors are really, really important. We partner like no other company with vendors. We have exclusive with vendors. We have great new products we're rolling out, like Just Food for Dogs, which is a human grade food, which is an absolute game changer for the health of pets. Um, so we're very happy with our portfolio. Roughly 70% of our portfolio, you can't get at other places, which gives us both uniqueness and insulation for, versus competitors, both online and mass. Well, Ron, thank you. The humanization of pets is one of the great secular themes of this time. I, and I think that Petco is going to be a great way to play it. Ron Coughlin, CEO, Petco. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.